It is 10 p.m. Tuesday, the 22nd of January, out across the Cook Islands, and we are looking at Tropical Cyclone Gary still well off toward the northwest. It's still fairly close to American Samoa, but the center of circulation is gradually beginning to pull away. And you can see that the Joint Typhoon Warning Center is forecasting at least a little more strengthening over the next couple of days as it starts to move more toward the southeast. Now, many of the Cook Islands are not shown on this graphic, but as we go into days four and five, the JTWC is forecasting a relatively weak tropical cyclone to pass through the island chain, but remain well to the west of French Polynesia and Bora Bora. Additionally, this is the latest forecast from the Fiji Meteorological Services, and they maintain the strength of the tropical cyclone as a Category 2 throughout the forecast period. And if we extrapolate beyond this time, this forecast would also imply that the center of circulation will narrowly pass just to the east of Aitutaki and also eventually just to the east of Rarotonga. The latest visible satellite animation of the South Pacific shows the center of circulation remaining just to the east of American Samoa, and as of right now, the tropical cyclone is struggling to develop somewhat as it is encountering some dry air, as we will soon see on the water vapor. But that is the main reason why we are not seeing those deep reds anymore. We are seeing a temporary waning of convection within the last six hours, but there will be fluctuations in the convection over the next day or so. Water vapor imagery shows the dry air that I was talking about trying to filter into the low-level circulation coming in from the southwest, and that is putting a damper on some of that convection and thunderstorm activity. So this is not looking like it will significantly strengthen over the next 24 hours. If anything, the JTWC intensity forecast may be a little aggressive. Now, as the tropical cyclone starts to work its way more toward the Cook Islands, it also looks as though it will be encountering at least somewhat in the way of westerly vertical wind shear, as we do have the presence of this troughing off toward the south and toward the west. Also, you can see that the conditions are not all that bad out across the Cook Islands at this time. For the most part, we are still dealing with a lot of sunshine and overnight clearing. However, there will be more in the way of outflow from tropical cyclone Gary coming in over the next 24 to 36 hours. But the meat of the tropical cyclone will not be passing until another 72 to 96 hours. As we turn to some of the most recent model guidance that has become available within the past hour, we're going to take a closer look at what the model is showing as the storm passes very close to the islands. But first, just to get everyone's bearings, this is Rarotonga to the south, and we can see Aitutaki to the north, with some of the smaller islands just to the east. So we're going to start overlaying the latest model forecast, and this is the 78-hour forecast from the European ECMWF model. You can see the center of circulation now, north-northeast of Aitutaki at this time, and if the storm is just to your north-northeast, you're going to be experiencing sustained winds in excess of 20 to 25 knots, generally from the east or east-northeast. And as we go into 87 and 90 hours, notice that some of the smaller islands out here are likely to experience the strongest winds, possibly in excess of 40 to 50 knots sustained, and this comes as no surprise because the left front quadrant of the tropical cyclone is usually the strongest and when I say the left front quadrant this is in relation to the movement of the storm so that would make sense with the storm moving in a southerly direction so overall Rarotonga at least based on the most recent model depictions you're not going to be feeling the full brunt of this tropical cyclone and the cyclone will be relatively weak as it is so we're not expecting much more than some showers and potentially a few thunderstorms with sustained winds in excess of 20 to 30 knots but with the worst weather at least as of now being projected to move just to your east. So what we just viewed was a look at the ECMWF model projection and we're going to also take a look at the GFS. This is the GFS forecast valid 84 hours out and you can see that the tropical cyclone comes in a little bit more toward your north and northeast which is certainly good news for Rarotonga and Aitutaki but you're still looking at potentially a stronger storm being shown here in this model with those sustained winds near the center and just to the east of the center being in excess of 45 to even 50 knots. So some of the smaller islands within the Cook Islands are definitely going to have to watch this storm because there is still the potential that it could pack quite a punch as it comes through. We're still not looking at anything overly severe, but still something that you would like to brace for ahead of time and make sure that your loose possessions are picked up. And if you happen to be in a flood prone region, if there is a notorious area for storm surge when these tropical cyclones come through, you may want to consider moving things out of that area just as a precaution. But that sums up your update on Cyclone Gary for this hour. 
If you do happen to be a resident or tourist visiting the Cook Islands, it's still a good idea to keep a very close watch on the cyclone as it starts to make its way toward that area within the next 72 hours. And I know that the weather sources down there are somewhat limited, but the Fiji Meteorological Services are the official tropical cyclone forecast agency for the South Pacific. So you definitely want to be following them for frequent updates on this tropical cyclone. And again, this is not looking like a severe system, but definitely keep an eye on it. And it's still enough to make some basic preparations ahead of the landfall. So that's all for now. And of course, as always, follow 28storms.com for more updates and information.